And it is good to be back in Boulder, Colorado. Now, uh, the last time I was here, I stopped by the sink for some pizza. I signed my name on the ceiling. I hope it's still there. Hope nobody vandalized it. Uh, and a girl, uh, a girl I met there was so surprised uh, that she spilled her frozen yogurt on my pants. Uh, but it was worth it because uh, I've been told that the sink renamed one of their pizzas after me. Uh, I, I'm deeply moved by this. <laughs> so the next time you go there, just ask for the POTUS. It's got pepperoni, sausage, green pepper, black olives, and onion. Uh, we, we put the olives on, and the onion on there uh, for Michelle, so, so you can say that you had some vegetables on your pizza. <laughs> now, uh, I, I've got to uh, address a sensitive subject. Uh, I, I know you guys are a little bummed out about the game yesterday. I know the Rocky Mountain Showdown did not go down the way you wanted. Uh, so I'll tell you what, we are going to give you a chance to get even. We are giving the Buffs and the Rams a second chance to go at it this fall. We've set up a Rocky Mountain Rumble to see which school can register more voters, CU or Colorado State. Now, I was at Colorado State last week, uh, and because we had volunteers in the crowd to help, they got a little bit of a head start, uh, so they are up by just 41 votes. But today we are in Boulder, so let's get it done. There are volunteers throughout the audience. They can help you register today. When you go home, you can register your classmates, your friends. You go online to something called gotaregister.com. Now, I, I apologize in advance to English teachers, this, but this is not got to register. This is gotta, G-O-T-T-A, register.com. And this is important because just over two months from now, uh, for the first time in many of your lives, uh, you will get a chance to pick a president. And, and by doing so, you'll get a chance to choose the path that we take from here. Now, last week, the other party gave their pitch at their convention down in Florida. Don't boo. Vote. <laughs> I, I will say, though, it was, it was something to behold. <laughs> you know, despite all the challenge that we face in this new century, what they offered over those three days was an agenda that was better suited for the last century. It was a rerun. It could have been on Nick at Night. We've seen it before. You might as well have watched it on a black and white TV with some rabbit ears. And if you didn't DVR it, the basic recap goes something like this. Uh, the economy is not doing what it should be. It's all Obama's fault. That was a key theme. <laughs> and Governor Romney knows the secret to creating jobs and growing the economy. And then there was a lot of talk about hard truths and bold choices. But the interesting thing was, nobody ever bothered to tell us what they were. And when Governor Romney finally had a chance to reveal the secret sauce, he did not offer a single new idea. It was just retreads of the same old policies we've, we've been hearing for decades. The same policies that have been sticking it to the middle class for years. You know, they, they talked a lot about me, and they talked a lot about Governor Romney, but they didn't spend a lot of time talking about you. They didn't talk about families like Ryan's and what it might mean to go back to a time when folks with pre-existing conditions couldn't get health care. You didn't hear them spend a lot of time talking about young people and the debt that they're incurring when they go to college. 
They, they spend even less time talking about what plans they have to actually meet these challenges and solve these problems. And you know why they didn't talk about it? It's not just because they know you won't like it. Uh, I mean, and you won't like it. <laughs> because you've already seen what happens when we try what they're offering and, and you've lived through it and you know we can't afford to repeat it. Uh, but, it but it's also that uh, they are exhausted of ideas. <laughs>